What is going on guys? It is a lovely February day, which I would never have expected to hear myself say. Also, that rhymed. Anyway, so it's a nice day out and I decided to take advantage of it and make a video in my 1990 Honda Civic DX. Which, if you do not know, or if you're new to the channel, or if you just not seen any of my previous videos, I do indeed own a 1990 Honda Civic DX. It's an ED6. It's, I mean, everyone calls it an EF, but you know, it's technically not an EF, but whatever. Oh god. So I've had this car since I think it's like yeah, April, like early April or late March of 2017. No, not 2017, not 2016, my bad. 2016 and since then I have been able to establish a list of things that I kind of like and dislike about it. So today that is what we are going to talk about. So First thing that I do not like about this car is the shift throw, specifically the throw between fourth down third. Like sometimes it just doesn't happen. Like it just does not want to go in third. Like I'll shift down the fourth and I'll try to go in third now. And yeah, of course it did it perfectly fine that time. When I'm downshifting from fourth to third, the um, shifter just gets stuck sometimes and it makes the downshifts significantly longer than it really needs to be and if I'm you know like cruising down the highway or something like that and I can try to get off an exit or whatever I'm trying to downshift um, that's not really a nice thing to have. The second thing that I do not like about this car is the window tint. I'm not really about this window tint. I do not know what the last owner or whoever, whatever owner in the last 26 years was thinking when they put on this window tint but at night it is horrible like you cannot see anything out of it at night like if there's a car behind me and at night it literally just looks like there's a person running at me with two lanterns like you can't see shit out of it during the daytime it's not really that bad but um at night yeah you really cannot see anything out of it if i'm trying to like see a sign on the side of the road or something like that at night and i've said at night three times um you can't really see it because it's just like a little black hole from the um, side windows and the rear windows. And also, I've gotten pulled over for it once, so that's not fun. Oh, there's a little rip in the um, driver's side window that you can just kind of see what it would look like a little bit without the tint, and it's like heaven's light shining into the car. So I'm gonna get that taken off at some point, um, probably when I do the summer project on this thing. The second thing that I strongly dislike about this car is the headlight. They're they're not good. They're really, really not good. You might as well just stick two flashlights on the hood of this car. That's how bad it is. When I first got the car, I noticed that it was that bad, and I tried getting new headlight bulbs, and it didn't work, and that was quite a fun project. That turned out to do nothing, but I put new headlight bulbs in it, and it really did it no justice. It's still really bad. Like, I'll insert a little clip of um, me driving at night. The fourth thing that, it, yeah, for the fourth thing that I did not like about this car is the manual steering. And I am not a very strong guy, so it is a bit of a pain in the ass to turn this thing around. Um, there's a truck coming, so I'll try to do this quickly. But, as you can see, I really have to wrench the wheel to get this thing to actually move when it's at a standstill. But, ah, I'm gonna talk more about that later on the second list. Fifth thing that I do not like about this car is that it is a freaking microwave. Like, it does not matter how hot or how cold it is outside, it gets super, super hot in this car. Like, I don't know why, but it just, it, uncomfortably hot. Also, it's uncomfortably hot for my phone, well my old phone anyway. I had a potato before I got a new one. It would occasionally get so hot in this car that I would have the GPS on in my phone and my phone would start overheating and it would turn off, which is really bad if I'm out in the middle of nowhere. I have no GPS because my phone has overheated and turned off. 
hopefully with my new phone that won't happen. So let's move on to the list of things that I actually do like about this car. And the first thing, ironically, is actually the manual steering. When I first got this car and I was I was not used to manual steering at, at all. So when I was pulling in the parking spaces and stuff and turning around, it was just the biggest pain in the ass. So I was like, I'm getting an SI steering rack. I'm not dealing with this. But then I started driving it more and more. I started getting used to it. And one day I had to drive my mom's Saturn Ion, which has, for whatever reason, I forget why, but it has full power steering. And when I went to turn the wheel, it felt like I was just turning air. Like I did not like it at all. So I'm actually gonna keep the power steering or keep manual steering, my bad. I'm actually gonna keep the manual steering in this thing because I discovered that when and most people, most car enthusiasts know this by the way, that when you're driving like at high speeds or whatever or just driving in general, you can feel everything. I actually really like the manual steering now that I've gotten used to it because you can feel absolutely everything and there is an oversized load right in front of me. Um kind of stuck back here now. The second thing I like about this car is just the style in general. Like, I like the way it looks. It's a really simplistic design, but it's still a good looking design in my opinion. I mean, it's a typical 80s, like, boxy Honda, but they actually managed to make it look really good without really putting that much design into it, which I credit them on that, and I just really like it. It appealed to me when I was a little kid, and it still appeals to me now. Another thing that I really like about this car is how low it is and how small it is. Now, this thing only has like 92, maybe 91 horsepower, so it doesn't sound like it'd be fun, but if that was 91, 92 horsepower in a Honda Accord or some something bigger, then it wouldn't be fun. But since this car is so small, it feels like you're going way faster than you actually are. That wasn't really that fast, but it felt like it was really fast. A lot of people say that it's more fun to go fast in a slow car than it is to go fast in a fast car. Because slow car, slow and small car, you feel like you're going fast and you're still having fun. And honestly, that's what it boils down to with your car. As long as it's fun, then you're totally fine. Another thing I like about this car is how nimble it is. Like, it has... I'm, Nine, I might be wrong, but I'm 95% sure that this model has independent rear suspension. So you can carve corners in this thing. Like you can take a corner by doing 50 or 60 and it just feels amazing. This is why I bought this car. It's gonna be a track car, so it's gonna be a quarter carver. So when this with this thing being pretty much stock, and the way it goes around corners now, I cannot wait to see how it actually goes around corner when I get it finished. And the last thing that I like about it is a typical Honda thing, and that's the gas mileage. It's a 1.5 liter single cam, so it's a fuel sipper. I just filled this thing up today, and last time I had to do it was like three weeks ago. And plus, when I do fill it up, it's only like 20 bucks. So that's something nice to have. Well, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to like it and subscribe, and also hit the little bell icon down next to the subscribe button so you actually know when I upload something because that's been a problem with YouTube lately, unfortunately. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully that'll be soon. Yeah!